how do you think Instagram plays a part in this? Because you talk about an algorithm type of design with Instagram. You can basically train your algorithm and really kind of train your brain by doing a media cleanse. We recommend intermittent media fasting where you just take a break from media, especially from social media, literally delete the apps off your phone because if you're like us, you will impulsively go back to them. And oh, when yeah. you do that, you give yourself a chance to reset. You reset your own mind and your perception of media, not only your body, but other people's bodies and also what you're using it for. For a lot of us who have body shame or anxiety in other ways, we will impulsively turn to those apps as a distraction and it actually maximizes the shame that we feel and keeps us sucked into those rabbit holes of thinking, well, once I buy this, once I do this, once I get the right angles, the right lighting, the right bikini pic that will get me the attention, the validation that I want, then we'll really be able to feel more confident and feel happier. And it just doesn't work that way. So when you come back from your intermittent media fast, then we recommend unfollowing, unsubscribing, anyone that is triggering your body anxiety. If you're following them and they make you have to go shopping, want to like cut out food groups from your diet or in any other way, feel bad about yourself and do the doom scroll to the bottom of their feed, then you know, you you should probably like unfollow for a little while, but just like do yourself a favor and take a break and then replace that not only with time off of social media, but also um, replace it with people who are doing other things than just looking hot. Hey.